Hi there, I'm John from CNCRI.com and today we're going to make custom plywood stencils using both our CNC router and our CNC laser. My company recently closed a deal where we're making custom plywood stencils for a sidewalk art project and what's really nice about having a CNC laser and a CNC router is that we can optimize the process to have the best of each machine. Now in this case here the stencils had to be exactly 36 inches square or 3 feet or roughly what 92 uh, centimeters square and technically I could have done it all with the laser or all with the router. Now there's a whole bunch of different designs and this one here actually was able to be done with the CNC router while the other ones weren't and the main reason for that is that the inside pieces are not totally square with the CNC router, you can't make square inner corners. So for this, for this specific one here, the CNC router did a great job of it. It's a lot faster than the laser, but the, draw, you know, the drawback is that you can't have things incredibly sharp, like what the customer wants. So for this design, perfect. The other designs, we need to use just the laser. Now, it's a lot more manageable to have smaller pieces when you're making stencils. So while I was at it, I used my CNC router to also cut out the squares which will allow me to go, then go on the laser and cut out the inside. It's just a lot more efficient to do it that way than try to feed a full sheet of uh, six mil or three mil or one quarter inch plywood. By direct comparison, now you can see why I decided to laser cut this stencil here instead of doing it with the CNC router. All of these little points here would be rounded. These squares would probably be more like ovals. And small little details like the, the butterflies, like the little antennae, would just not come out with the CNC router. Now again, there is a way around that somewhat, and that is to use a thinner or smaller diameter bit, and you get more sort of resolution out of that, but you still end up with something rounded. So that's what I like about having the option. As you can see on this one here, 
It was done with the CNC router. And this one here was done with the laser. And the dead giveaway, other than the sharp corners, is actually the smoke that you see on it. Now my industrial CNC laser isn't three feet by three feet. It's roughly three feet by roughly two and, and a bit feet. So that causes sort of an issue because if I want to make a full stencil, I have to do it in two passes. Now there's two ways of doing that. I can open up the front and the back of my machine and literally just feed the plywood through as it's cutting and cut the whole thing in one shot. Or I can do a simpler method and just do, let's say this part here and then just rotate the, the piece around, rotate the drawing in the computer, and do this piece over here. So there's a lot of different options when it comes to making custom stencils. Some materials I could do that, some of them I can't, some of them uh, they're so large that we have to use other technologies like water jet, let's say if you wanted a metal stencil. So if you want a custom stencil, any size, any shape, any material, just contact me at cncroi.com and we'll make it for you.